Hey, baseball fans. Matt Nadell here with Baseball with Matt. I'm currently in San Francisco, California on a family vacation. And me being me, I obviously have to go to a ballpark. So here is my visit to AT&T Park, home of the San Francisco Giants. Let's go. So as you just saw, we just, me and my dad, hey. we just took uh, basically a 360 tour of the stadium. We saw McCovey Cove out in uh, right field, right behind Levi's Landing, the right field wall. We saw the giant glove in left center and the Coca-Cola bottle. The thing I actually learned about the Coca-Cola bottle is there are like slides inside, like little kitty slides that you would find on a, at a playground. It was really cool. I was going to go in one of them, you know, one of the bigger slides. But uh, it was kind of, you know, the line was kind of long. So we decided to just skip it. Uh, you know, we're just kind of sitting here, me and my dad, waiting for my sister and my mom to come back from shopping in the San Francisco area. Uh, we're actually sitting really good seats. We're sitting right behind home plate. It's really nice. Uh, so the Orioles are in town. We're going to see an Orioles-Giants game. It's at, like... 12, 17 Pacific Standard Time right now. So the game is going to start in like 45 minutes. Uh, actually, because the Orioles are in town, uh, the broadcasters are in town for the Orioles. And one of the broadcasters is Jim Palmer, Hall of Fame pitcher for the Orioles. And I just got to meet him. It was really cool and really fun. He was really nice. Uh, you guys know that I, or most of you know, that I interviewed him. He was my first Hall of Fame interview. And he was uh, really nice. Okay, guys, so that guy in the wheelchair right over there, that is Giants Hall of Famer Willie McCovey. That's right, two Hall of Famers in one video. Amazing, right? Yeah, so I think this is just an event going on. But still, it's Willie McCovey. Apparently, he has his own suite somewhere up there. So they just announced the lineup, which means game time is coming soon. The, uh... Managers are going to the to uh, exchange lineup cards. So again, game time should be soon. Guys, finally it is game time. It is about to be about to be the Pacific Standard Time. We have stop that game is on the mound. There's still plenty of time for the field after a little bit of time. Let's go get behind the plate. Batting order for the Giants, in case you guys are interested. Marble Scudero leads off, he is playing second base. Next is shortstop Brandon Crawford. After that is first baseman Brandon Belt. Next is catcher Buster Posey. After that, batting fifth is right fielder Hunter Pence. Third baseman is next, Pablo Sandoval. Left fielder is, uh, I think his name is Ryan Kitchnick. Yeah, pretty sure. Center fielder is Gregor Blanco. And last but not least, pitcher Matt Kane. Pablo Scudero is still up. Oh, Look at this ice cream. 
cream. Oh, it's just delicious. Oh my god. Look, it's got it's in it's got the San Francisco Giants logo. I mean, it's upside down because I'm kind of holding it. But I'm gonna eat this. So I don't think anything will happen that big, but if it does, I will tell you. Well, I finished my ice cream. For the one who was in first place, as he just did a single, that cane is up. Guys, look at this crowd. I mean, the game is really amazing, but they're a team that's not really doing that well in the NL West. Look at this. It is a absolute house. It is absolutely amazing. Let's go, Scoop. Let's go, Scoop. That's an out, though. Oh, that's an out. Back up. Yep. Well, as I said before, Mac King got it. Marcos Gutierrez just flied out to right, and the Giants did not score. The game was getting really good. Nonetheless, we still kind of have a big charge of the Oh, there it's coming up next. Guys, that is a buster. Look at that beast. What a fight. Well, the beast, aka Buster Posey, just rounded out. No hits this inning for the Giants. Again, still a boring game. Unless it is fun to be at the fan show at AT&T Park. Ryan Roberts scored. It is 2 1 Giants. Matt King gave up his first one of the game. He only gave up three hits, but I think that RBI single was the biggest of the three. Now steps in Manny Machado, who's batting 294 this year. Let's see what he can do. Alright, let's go! AT&T Park. It's the uh, middle of the seventh inning. The Orioles are winning after a J.J. Hardy two-run shot. It's been fun, AT&T Park. It's very interesting. You know, it's a beautiful park, and I wish I can come back here. Bye, AT&T Park. I love you. So guys, I'm back in the hotel room, safe and sound, in my bed after a long day of touring. The game did not turn out too well for the Giants in the end. The ending score was 10-2 Orioles. Yeah, they scored like nine runs in the last two and a half innings. Um, but you know what? It's another loss for the Giants. Whatever. But uh, I know the cameraing wasn't that good. It's my first vlog. What can I say? I'm not too good at it. But nonetheless, I had a great time at AT&T Park. It ranks very high on my stadium list of coolest stadiums I've been to so far in my life. So, thanks for watching the video, hope you enjoyed it, and check back next time on my blog for more of all the buzz on what was.